Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the SketchUp Arc Studio. Today we're going to talk about different type of lights in Enscape 3.5.2 new update of it. So I'm going to click on the Enscape objects in here and start my job with the sphere light. For drawing the sphere light, you only need double click on your screen and a sphere light created for you. So I'm going to move it in some place like that in here. And another light I'm going to talk about it is the uh, spotlight. Before I draw in the uh, spotlight, I need some line on the uh, blue axis, like that. So I'm going to click on the Enscape objects in here, click on the uh, spotlight. If I want some spotlight for the downside illumination, I must do start my drawing from the downside to upside. How? I'm going to select and left click my first shot in here, second, third, and fourth click right here like that. So I'm going to click on the selection tool, delete these line in here, move this light in this place and very simple we create our spotlight. So I can take some copy from this spotlight in here, move it to the downside. I'm going to click on the flip tool. If you want some double sided spotlight you can press Control and click on the uh, blue axis. Now you can move your light like that to see what will happen in your 3D rendering and environment, like this. Another light related to the uh, Enscape line light. Very simple, you only need to click like that to draw your light. And if I click on the move option and move it to this place, and increase it a little bit on the blue axis in here. For example, I need some line light about, for example, one meter or two meter. So I can select it, click on the Enscape objects in here, and click on the lens to the set value, and add, for example, 1.66 for my lens of the light. Like that. Very simple and easy. So, and the last light related to the uh, the spotlight, uh, sorry, rectangle light. So I'm going to click on the Enscape object in here. Rectangle light and disk light work like each other and don't have any type of special differences. So I'm going to draw the rectangle for the training like that. And this is my rectangle light. So I draw my rectangle light. How I can change the size of it? Very simple. You select it. Click on the Enscape objects and you can change the width and lens like that. So I must flip it like this. Now it works correctly. And I'm gonna rotate it a little bit like that. And now it's good for us. I'm gonna add some cap for my house like that, about 10 centimeters. Save my job and click on the Start Enscape. So it depends on your system, your graphic card, and your VRAM on your PC or laptop. So it takes a little bit of time, and you can see Enscape load for us. I will go to inside of the house like that, and I'm gonna change the time of the day to completely night mode, something like this. So, as you can see, I'm going to minimize it. I'm going to click on the uh, SketchUp and move inside of my house. And as you can see, this is the uh, view that we have in here. I start my job with the uh, sphere light. As you can see, it's work like the Omni light in V-Ray. So I'm going to click on the uh, Enscape objects and I can change the uh, Lumion's intensity. And you can see the changes in here. For example, I can convert it to seven candela and we only see some type of bright and shiny line and point in this place so i'm going to change it to the 46 for example and when i increase the light source radius as you can see the radius of the uh, light intensity will increase in here i uh, suggest that to you don't use it in any type of interior renders because it's a little bit work for professional jobs 
So another light we have is the uh, spotlight. I'm going to click on it and for the uh, spotlight we have two parameters. Intensity includes the uh, power of the uh, lighting and you can see the changes in here but the uh, beam angle what will do. Look at these angle in here. When I increase the uh, beam angle all of them will increase at the uh, same time and when I decrease it we have some narrow beam angle. So it completely depends on you and your taste. Line light. I'm going to click on the Enscape objects and reduce the luminosity intensity. As you can see, the changes are completely normal for us. And the final is the rectangle light, and it's nothing special about it. I can change the power very simple like that. And for the final point, how we can change the uh, color of the uh, lights. Very simple. Click on the paint bucket and select one of these colors and add it to your spotlight. As you can see, the result completely changed for us. For example, I convert it to the orange. And in this place, I prefer to use some type of dark yellow color for the uh, spotlight like that. For example, we have some blue sphere light in here, as you can see, and we have some crimson line light in here. And it completely depends on your taste, like that. So, finally, I'm going to click on the save frame, and I'm going to click on the view management, create some simple view for myself, like that and press create and I'm going to click on the uh, visual setting focus on my targets 66 increase the rendering calculation of the uh, lights to the ultra mode and use the uh, auto contrast Wignet is about 10 and chromatic is 0 something like that so exposure about 56 and everything is done for us and time for the uh, rendering i'm going to click on the uh, screenshot button in here and save it on my desktop in support folder as the uh, jpg number one and press save so in this video you learned how to work with the enscape different lights in the sketchup environment very simple and easy Thanks for your watching, thanks for your support, if you like this video please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and share it with your friends. Thanks for your watching and goodbye.